Rhino Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to fix the exposure in a photo you have taken. So whether it's underexposed or overexposed, um, I'm going to show you a couple ways to correct it. Um, now I will say that it is much easier to fix an underexposed photo, especially if you are shooting in RAW, um, than it is to fix an overexposed photo. So let me show you why that is. Um, so when you have your photo op open, so you can see I have an overexposed one here um, and the underexposed, um, let me merge these here. Um, so there we go, there's the underexposed. So too dark or overexposed, way too bright. So when your photo is overexposed, um, you can see all of her face and her skin and everything is so blown out and so white that it's really hard for the camera, um, or the Photoshop to go back and pick up that missing, um, the missing information, the missing details. So what we would do is we would duplicate this layer here. Um, so I just did a right click duplicate layer. And then you can do this a couple ways. If you go to image adjustments and select exposure um, and try to change it this way, usually you're not really going to get the um, result that you want. So you can see, um, let me put this back at zero. The offset is more of the dark and then the gamma correction. So you can see there, not quite that, I mean, it's just darkening up the background, but not really fixing the missing skin information. So let's cancel that. Um, the easiest way, in my opinion, to fix it is to go through the camera raw filter. So if you go to filter, select camera raw filter. Um, from here, um, so on the camera raw filter here, um, the best way to go about this would be to try to adjust the exposure and the highlights um, here. So if we lower the exposure some um, and maybe lower the highlights, you see the problem with using, trying to correct an overexposed picture is like I said, that information is missing that information is missing and um, it's just hard for Photoshop or Camera Raw to pick up those missing details. It's always going to look really muted. Um, so let's try a little bit more here. Um, if you go into the tone curve and lower the highlights a little, so you can see it's like it's, it's making her a little darker but it's just she looks so flat. There's no real um, skin tone color there. It's kind of just a gross flat gray. Um, so when your picture is just way too overexposed, like I said, um, there's just not really much you can do. You know, that's about as good as it gets. Now, on an underexposed photo, it's a little easier to correct this. So let me duplicate the layer. Um, and again, um, my preference is going into the camera raw filter and changing it this way. So let's raise the exposure and already that's much better than what the other one is. Um, one thing that you do risk by trying to salvage an underexposed photo is usually when you raise the light quite a bit, um, you're going to create a lot of noise in your picture. So let me show you what I mean. So let's adjust the shadows some. Let's make this a little brighter. Now if we zoom in closely here, you can see the specks. That's what we call noise or grain. Um, and ideally you don't want that. So if the photo is um, accurately exposed from the get-go, so straight out of the camera, um, you're going to avoid this. And that's going to make for a better print quality photo. So let's zoom out a little bit. Um, so again, you would just kind of adjust the exposure um, if you need to raise the highlights or lower them. There, um, you can adjust the contrast a little bit. 
that that's a much better um, outcome than this. You can see how dull um, and an inaccurate skin tone we have there with the overexposed. So there's the overexposed and here is the underexposed. So if you have to go one way or the other or you accidentally do underexposed is definitely um, something you're going to be able to salvage more than an overexposed photo. Um, so really keep an eye on your settings when you're taking pictures, especially in that harsh light in the middle of the day. Um, so if you have more um, questions about exposure, make sure that you check out our video on the exposure triangle as well as our um, camera settings, the um, aperture ISO. sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.